Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my video. Yeah, this YouTube channel. Uh, into this video, I want to show you how to convert standard matter into matter. Well, actually, this video is an update from the previous video. In the past, I've made a video about how to convert standard matter into matter. But uh, in the meantime, I use a very low quality voice with um, not good quality of video as well. And now, I hope I can cover it up with a great uh, quality of color of the screen and a good voice so you, you'll understand it. I also uh, give you a better explanation here. I have a formula how you can easily convert centimeter into meter here. So here we go. Now we're going to learn about it. Okay, so this is um, a method that made by some people so you can easily understand how to convert uh, meters okay so we have kilometers hectometer decameter matter decimeter centimeter and millimeter very well so here's a meter and here's this decimeter that's our problem right so before that you need to understand okay every time you want to convert for a simple kilometer to hectometer to decameter you you did you you go down you you jump it down right so every time you make a move to downward then you need to multiply it with 10 for example you want to know how many ki one kilometer into hectometer then you need to jump it and because you get down then you need to multiply it with 10 so you have 1 kilometer into hect hectometer then you need to multiply it with 10 so 1 kilometer equals uh, 10 hectometer equals 100 decameter equals 1000 meter alright now that's how you that's um, that's how you do when you get down but how about you go upstairs in this case we want to convert centimeter into meter that's our problem here so uh, this is the rule every time you go up or you jump up from uh, this into this into this then if you want to go up you need to divide the number with 10 so want to convert centimeter into decimeter then you need to go up in that case you need to divide it with 10 alright so 1 per 10 equals 0 0.1 very well now you want to jump upstairs again because you did twice jump hub and hub from centimeter into meter then you need to divide it twice so 10 and another 10 so you need to uh, divide it with 10 and 10 so you have 100 so 1 per 100 alright so 1 centimeter into meter equals to 1 per 100 uh, if you put it in uh, decimal then it's gonna be 0 0.01 that's why you have uh, 1 centimeter equals 0 0.01 okay because you know because you know we have this number because 1 per 10 100 okay 1 per 100 equals 0 0.01 because we might twice tap okay twice type upward hub in hub from centimeter into meter you need to divide it with 10 10 times 10 equal 100 so 1 per 100 1 per 100 equals 0 0.01 this is the easy way to understand it alright 
that's it. Now, I want to give an example. Maybe your teacher asks you how to solve problem uh, of confusion between centimeter and two meter. Very well. Then for example, um, let's say I want to convert 100 centimeter equals to equals how many meters? Right. Okay. Now let's answer this problem. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do. So this is the question right that's a question the first thing that you need to do is you need to multiply this number with this number okay so one centimeter times one I'm sorry 100 centimeter no 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 wait wait I mean this number just put it down this one down here okay now you need to multiply both side of the equal sign so this is left side and this is right side you need to multiply both of it with 100 that's rule because you have 100 in the left, you must multiply again as well in the right, right? So, one centimeter times one hundred, and zero point one, zero point zero one times one hundred. Okay. Very well. Now, one times one hundred equals one hundred centimeter, and then zero point one times um, 100. Well, how to solve this problem? Remember, every time you have two number, I mean 100, is you have zero and zero one. Every time you multiply it, if you have one zero, you need to move it uh, the the decimal point into the front. Okay. Uh, in case it is cent ten meters, then it's gonna be one zero point one. If you want to, uh, if you want to multiply it, so we have two zero here. Then you need to move two step to the right of the. Uh, point decimal point so one and two and now you have one okay that's how you do it so one point zero one times one hundred equal to one meters I'm sorry for that bad explanation you need to uh, watch this video again if you and if you if it's hard for you to understand then you can ask me again maybe I'll uh, create another video so I can give you more explanation I'm sorry I can explain it better now because uh, I don't want to ruin this video with a very long explanation. Very well. So this is the answer of the question. 100 centimeters equals to 1 meters. Remember the way to solve it? First, you need to put it to write it down again. This into here. And you time, you multiply it both with 100 which we have from here and here we multiply it with 100 as well because you must put the 100 for both sides of the equal sign so 1 times 100 equals 100 0 0.01 times 100 equals 1 meters so that's the answer of the question um, if you have any further question please go ahead ask me the question and um yeah this is very important subscribe all right that's all for me uh that's all for today thank you for watching and see you again goodbye everyone see you later